Hi everyone, it's Neve here. Welcome to my art journaling channel. Today I'm doing a page that is inspired by the amazing Natalie May from Natalie May Scrapbooking, a fantastic Australian artist, um, from a free online class that she did um, on her Facebook page, which I'll put the directions to in the description box below. Um, this page was done on a day where I'd, I think I'd taken my youngest daughter to hospital. She had a spiking fever. Uh, um, she ended up having to have bloods taken. She was very, very brave um, and mummy was being very brave too and then came home and I had to jump into my art journal to just decompress. And because I was playing through what had happened during the day, I didn't have the wherewithal to think about what I was doing. So having something that I could follow along with without having to think um, was so helpful to me. So I really appreciate that um, all the artists out there who um, give of their time to put up um, content for us to um, play along with and you know it's it's fantastic so I, I really appreciate Natalie for doing that because on this day I, I needed to do something and this was just perfect so I'm starting off I've glued down my paper I then put over a stencil to wipe some away and I managed to lift up my paper the Dina Wakely gel medium is amazing but it has actually a little bit of um, it takes a little time to set up which gives you time to move things around which usually is a really great idea um, but I was moving a little bit quickly on this page so I didn't leave it time to actually adhere to the background which is why it lifted up with my stencil if I dried it off beforehand that wouldn't have been an issue so you can see here I've got the yellow down then I've got some turquoise over the top I've rubbed through it so I've got that lovely pattern coming through the stencil I just used is um, uh, Art by Mylene stencil um, which I really love I love that eye pattern in it I don't know if it's actually supposed to be eyes or not but I really like it so this is one of the things that um, Natalie did that I absolutely adored and it's something I've never really done before in my art journals I've obviously done gel printing before but I've never gel printed straight into my art journal and it was just so freeing to do and it's such a great way to get layers in your book really quickly so you know they're not going to be perfect because you can't get your book the whole way in you're going to get bits and pieces from it but you can see there already, without very much effort, I've got some really cool layers in my journal. You'll also see that um, I'm lifting off the extra paint onto some deli paper, so I'm not wasting that extra um, paint on my background. I'm also rolling in the extra paint into my journal as well. So this is just a whole mashup. And at this stage, I was really enjoying what I was doing so um, I was just having so much fun I think it's the first time that little roller had been used um, I'd chosen to get it for something else and um, yeah <laughs> it was just perfect for going into my journal so at this stage I was thinking oh what else am I going to do um, and this is one of my favorite um, stencils from Stencil Girl it's one by Carolyn Doobie and if you're in Australia by the way Natalie is your girl for a stencil girl stencils so if you ever want to get your hands on them um, Natalie's got a huge range of stencil girl stencils and if she doesn't have one that you really like she will get it in for you she also stocks uh, the scrap FX stamps which I was just using so um, if you're ever looking for any things from scrap FX, uh, she's your go-to girl as well so there you go she's very multi-talented free classes amazing deals and lots of cool stuff that you can go and buy next thing that I'm using are some of the gloss sprays so um, I'm using this stencil it's not a stencil girl stencil it's a scrap FX stencil it's a Dina Wakely stencil and I'm using my gloss sprays now I, I have a love hate affair with sprays um, because I find them frustrating at times but I really love how they came up on this page and it was a great way to add extra layers to my page and you can see the richness and the depth the other thing that you can obviously do with these sprays which I love to do is to add drips to your page and if you have got some extra deli paper like I had for cleaning up my gel plate um, you can pick up any of your extra um, spray with that as well so you can see you know started off fairly plain and now it's just getting all these rich layers obviously adding a bit of splatter over the top helps to tie everything together 
I'm a big fan of splatter in my artwork so you can see how that's all holding together as well if you didn't have the gloss sprays you can use acrylic inks or you could use watered down acrylics to get a similar effect too so um, don't ever feel that just because you don't have something that you can't substitute something else um, so this page or on the page that Natalie was doing she used a figure um, stencil from Stencil Girl. I chose to use this one. This is one of my favourite stencils. Um, I just love her face. I love the stripes as well and I love how she sort of fits into the corner. And the great thing I found about this is it's a 6x6 six six stencil. So you can actually use another 6x6 six six stencil underneath to create a body really easily. So I'm stenciling in the same colour. I've used Night so it sort of blends in. And I'm also using my wet wipe to sort of wipe up away to get more of that figure um, happening on a figure shape happening on the page. I don't have that really dark border anymore. I've got some of those layers coming through underneath. I don't know what I'm searching for in my stencil pile there. I do need to clean up next to my desk. All my favourite stencils tend to get tucked into one little place and they get lost very easily. So um, yes. My stencil management system needs a complete nutter of overhaul at the moment. So I'm looking for my Dina Wakely um, letter stencils. Again, these are really, really handy things to have. Obviously, you can handwrite your quotes, but I just, you know, I was in the mood where I didn't want to think about too much. So being able just to go through with these alphabets was really easy. Um, if you have got the Tim Holtz foam alphabets as well, they're awesome to use on something like this. You can get some really cool um, block printed stencils. Um, Dina Wakely has got some new um, block um, alphabets that are quite large as well. Um, I forgot how to spell strong, I forgot the R. <laughs> so <laughs> went back and fixed that. Um, this is why I love um, using acrylic paints because when they're still wet, you can rub them away and um, re-stencil over, which is an amazing thing. The other bit that I was going in for is I wanted to add some of these quotes from the Dina Wakeley, um, I think it's called Mantras Stencil, which um, I really like. So they're just little things to tell yourself. And again, this was a day that I needed to tell myself lots. So. You know, you are strong, you can do anything you can think of, the secret, keep going, um, you are, um, be amazed at you. So it's just all that sort of stuff, that positive talk that sometimes you just really need to reinforce with yourself. And that's why I love journaling, that, you know, you do it for you, I, I do it to sort of empty my mind, to um, journal my feelings sometimes just to play with new products you know get my gel plate out or try out some new stencils but I can also tell myself things um, that I need to know. To finish off my page I'm going in with my white pen just to highlight the letters and also put in the whites of the eyes on the figure which is a really important thing to do. It helps to um, make a focus of your page um, it draws your eyes to that focal point in the page because you're eyes read it as a face which obviously it is but you know what I mean and on my journaling down the bottom some of it wasn't particularly clear so I just went over with my white pen again just to make it clear the final thing I added in was some asemic writing which is journaling it all means something it's me journaling about my day and how I felt about taking my daughter to emergency and how brave she was and how brave I was <laughs> how we were all feeling. Um, but it's not something I can go back and actually read the individual words. It was me just writing off the top of my head, just getting it all out on the page, which is really powerful as well. So um, it's important to you know get your feelings out. And if it's something really, really private and um, something you need to keep hidden, you can always paint over it at, you know, do that in a middle layer and um, stencil over the top of it. So that is my final piece. Um, please check out the description box below to find out more about Natalie and her amazing classes. Until next time, bye for now.